live from Winnipeg Stadium. The Calgary Stampeders and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. In the Western Conference, pending the outcome of the Lions-Eskimos game tomorrow. Obviously, the Bombers would like to gain some ground on Saskatchewan. In the Eastern Conference, one game tonight, and it features Ottawa and Toronto. The front runners, and the winner will take first place, sole possession of same, and gain some ground in the tight Eastern Conference. Uh, seven passes dropped last year. You can see by the statistics, he's off to an incredible start. Uh, I don't think there's anyone in football that has a stronger arm. Well, Calgary's gone back to the running game. Uh, Ken Johnson hurt his uh, finger in the Ottawa game. And they said, well, he couldn't pass, so let's give James Sykes the opportunity to start running again. And they found out that as long as uh, they get the blocking on the line of scrimmage, they don't have to dominate people. He has a great back for the Stampeders. For Zanny, Vickers, Armstead, and Lewis, the receivers. Corral and Kersinger, Horton and Fairbanks on either side of center game. Willie <laughs> Miller to midfield, a gain of about nine before Willie Miller, mentioned three. Brighton Rule through the middle for a good chunk of real estate, an advance of about eight and a Winnipeg first down at the Calgary 42. In this opening quarter. Miller again, he breaks the first tackle and he does some fancy maneuvering for a gain of seven and two. middle for another Winnipeg first down on those short yardage situations he's been devastating second man through is Willie Miller no room a pickup of just a couple of yards trying Winnipeg second and eight immediately by Ed McElhaney. Sam Peter. Brock complete. That could be a first down for Robert Wood. Dale Ezrins and Willie Thomas go into the ball game. Ragnarolo to the goal line, but I don't think he's over. So up, John, they've scored just two touchdowns in three games, and neither touchdown really meaningful. Brock keeps it, but a touchdown is also a penalty flag on the play. Toronto Argonauts at halftime, leading Ottawa 11 0. Stan has been injured and is out of the ball game. Setting up that outside screen to Holmes. Holmes is unable. Well, he does break away from his man, and now he's going a long way back looking for some blocking help. Well, it results in about a three-yard loss, but it... Robert Woods has got it. And he goes out of bounds at the 37 of Calgary. And they feel that Ray needs to, to cover up that whole middle. Second and 11. The screen to Willie Miller. And Miller down to the 25 a Winnipeg first down tackled by Ray Nettles inside the Calgary 25 13 33 till the halftime break the home the outside and at the 20 yard line he has bounced out of bounds draw play Miller on second and five he may have the first down he's got the first down Ball between the 13 and the 14 yard lines. Winnipeg has thoroughly dominated this game so far. The pitch to Miller. Miller trying to go wide. He's going to score. The rise, McTaggs puts flat. Johnson throwing deep for Willie Armstead. He can't get it. John. Same type of formation for Danny up to the right and tag left. Johnson in trouble. He won't get a chance to throw. Maude Alamang was the man who finally brought him down, but it was the Comet Burley who applied the initial pressure. First. 
Sykes from second and three. He's got the first down inside the Winnipeg 35. Contrast to what happened a week ago at Empire Stadium. <laughs> Willie Burden tried to go inside. Mar Touchdown had he been able to squeeze that ball. J. He J. T. Hay now comes into the ball game to try for three from 37 yards away. It's good. So the Stampeders finally hit the board with 6.33 remaining in the half. 51 <laughs> nothing. And that's their favorite play down there. So when hey, that we keep talking about late in this first half or at the start of the second. Second and ten, the block is wide open. He's got a first down at the Calgary 54. Mike Holmes is back into the ball game. Little swing pass to Willie Miller, still going. This fella is here, according to the Bombers trainer Pat Clayton, but Poplaski will be back. Second and less than a yard, and Dieter Brock drives straight ahead for the first down. Go. Swinging it out to Miller again, the blocking forming in front of him. Larry Butler trying to knock people out of the road, and right. Dragonolo, however, there is a penalty flag. First and 10, Winnipeg, now from the Calgary 30. Sideline pattern to Robert Woods. Oh, he was caught from behind by Robert Sparks. Brock Keith, he's got the first down. First downs in rushing and very definitely in the passing department and in the number of plays that they have been able to run. So in terms of total offense, a big edge for Winnipeg. The Brock touchdown in the first quarter, converted by Trevor Kennard in the second quarter. Willie Miller's 14-yard touchdown run, again converted by Kennard. And then a field goal by J.T. Hay. And before the second quarter ended, a single by J.T. Hay. Well, that's late in the fourth quarter. Willie Burton tries the inside route, and he picks up about four or five yards. In a sense, he traded to Calgary in exchange for John Helton and John Malinowski two years ago. The over-the-middle pass to Willie Armstead for a first down. Second and ten for the Stampeders. Good protection. The pass is complete to Willie Armstead. He breaks the first tackle and still struggling. He'll be very close to a first down as he crosses the center field stripe. A short yardage play. Third and one for the Stampeders. Sykes has it. Offside, Winnipeg. Johnson over the middle for a first down to Bob McVicker. First and 10, Calgary at the Winnipeg 35. Off the five.
Johnson to the sideline. The catch is made by McTagg, and he is hauled out of bounds by Charlie Williams. Johnson had only thrown 43 times coming into this game. He's got it going now, but Brock had thrown more than that in one game. Johnson is throwing rather well right now as he catches Tom Porzani at the 15 for a Johnson has started to throw well against Winnipeg. James Price is going nowhere in the grasp of Marv Alamang. That's the pertinent information as we return to action at Winnipeg Stadium. The Blue Johnson to Sykes, and he steps out of bounds at the eight. On third down, the Stampeders are going for it. McTagg comes into the ball game. Tom Forzani goes to the bench. Mark Moores has also come into the ball game. throw Armstead touchdown what a call by Ken Johnson on third and three so the Stampeders have fought back they put together well it's final now Toronto defeating Ottawa 18 to 10 and on our post game show we'll have highlights of the Argonauts moved into sole possession of first place in the Eastern Conference in this third quarter there should passing attempt tonight. He's having quite an evening. That's to Robert Woods on the sidelines. He's in a race with Daryl Moyer. He cut around Moyer, but was run down by Bernie Morrison. Let's take another look at that 48-yard pass and run for Robert Woods. First down, Winnipeg at the Calgary 40. Rock fumbles the ball, I believe, coming back to recover with Butch Norman. Out to the left, draw play with Willie Miller. He decides to go wide, cuts it back inside, and has a gain of about eight. The kick will come from the 41-yard line. He is kicking into that south breeze. It's short. Taken by Tom Frizzani at the two, returning it to the 10-yard line. Well, Armstead has more than doubled his production for the season in this game tonight. He only had three catches coming into the ball game. Johnson to Leo Lewis. A first down for the Stampeders. Come up with a 62-yard touchdown run against the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Tom Frizzani makes the catch, gets away from the first tackling attempt to Bob Duguid and gets to the 50-yard line. He was prepared defensively, but Johnson has gone to the air, and he's doing well. Leo Lewis on the sideline, taken out of bounds by Charles Williams. There's one week from tonight. A roughing penalty tacked on to that reception by Leo Lewis. Calgary with the first down at the Winnipeg 33. Drop play with Willie Burton. Big hole. Another Calgary first down to the Winnipeg 17. First and 10 for the Stampeders. They are at the Winnipeg 17. Little swing pass to Willie Burton. He's outside. He's going. No, he stopped short of the goal line. Lloyd. Sorts of movement at the line of scrimmage before Ken Johnson tried to sneak into the end zone. This time the offside charge is against the Stampeder. James Sykes was hit initially by Marv Alamang. The pitch to Sykes, he's trying to go wide. I think they bounced him out of bounds at the one. Well, they've changed ends to start the fourth quarter. It's third and goal from the one for the Stampeders.
James Sykes. He made it. Bill Wright, the umpire, signaled a touchdown. Several Winnipeg might also point out the statistic regarding the time of possession in that third quarter. It was all Calgary. Willie Miller goes inside for a pickup of about four. He did. He had maximum protection that time, Terry. They're on a 42-yard gain. And now the pitch to Willie Miller. He started wide, cut back inside, and has a gain of almost 10. Second or third and short yardage situation. Willie Miller almost broke free. Reggie Lewis just got enough of him to upset his momentum. That's here it's open. Let's take it. Winnipeg first and ten. It's Willie Miller again. He broke the tackle. He gets to the outside. Down to about the three-yard line. Tackled by Daryl Moyer. He is the time remaining in the football game. Dragon Nobomo is stopped short of the goal line. Second and goal from the one. Sykes will concede the single point. Sykes thought the ball was going to go through the end zone on that 89-yard kickoff. It looked as though it was going to bounce through about a yard from the dead ball line. It stopped and bounced back into the field of play. It's got to be careful. It's a free ball. A single point for Trevor Kennard on the kickoff. And for our American viewers, that, of course, is one rule in the CFL and in the Canadian game that is different from National Football League or American rules. A single point can be scored. To a gale right now, Don. Yes, that wind has certainly increased in velocity in this fourth quarter. It's going to be tough for Johnson to throw. He tried to lob it out. Back in the early 40s. Fingertips of the intended receiver, Bob Vickers, back to the kicker. That's what I said could happen, and look at that ball bounce back. Picked off on the dead run by Paul Bennett. Penalty flags all over the place. What an alert play by Paul Bennett, because McTagg was charging over there to try to grab it. The ball is fumbled by Braganola. And it's recovered by Calgary. Ball with the Ottawa Rough Riders before being traded to Calgary. Johnson throwing deep for Willie Armstead. It's picked off by Paul Bennett. That's side the Calgary. Draganola. broke it. He was caught by Ken Dombrowski just short of a first down. And to Winnipeg and the Blue Bombers at all, John, it will fly. There's absolutely nobody in the end zone for Calgary. It's good. And Winnipeg now leads at 32 8. Ball taken on a bounce by Robert Woods. Woods with some nifty maneuvering, looking for the sidelines and coming out of bounds at the 22. Willie Miller trying to get outside. Good fake by Miller. 
He has bounced out of bounds. Down in the vicinity of the eight-yard line by Miller. 96 yards tonight. He could go over the 100 right here. I think he has got the necessary four. He looks to have five. Mark Bright. We have offensive holding. Winnipeg number 23. No, no, over here. Over here. Goal from the 19. End zone. Incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver. <laughs> Woods almost went into the bandstand at the north end of Winnipeg Stadium. Year of operation. They'd like to make it a big year. Field goal attempt by Kenner. It is good. And it's Winnipeg 35, Calgary 18 with 1.30 left to play. Well, this will give Winnipeg its first win of the season after three losses. Well, the defense knows they're going to be passing. And Bruce is looking to his left. He just comes in on the blitz and lowers the boom. Oh. Sends in Jim Kahn in place of Peter Brock. John McCorkendale running in place of Mark Braganola. Blue Bombers out of the University of Arizona. 6'3", 196 pounds. He has certainly responded tonight, however, after sitting out a game. Treadgill is in some difficulty, gets away, and then the ball is deflected high into the arms of Bob Tugood. And Tugood wisely steps out of bounds, and that ends the ball game. And the Winnipeg Blue Bombers score their first victory of the season, 35-18 over the Calgary Stampeders.